and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia and we are so excited to stop by. You know, we were crafting today because we needed our happy therapy, right? And so we were using Thoughtful Blooms. And let me show you the card that we've made. We have two other cards that we want to show you. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? So what I want to do is I want to head down to the crafting table and let's get started. There we go. So you know what? Today we're going to be working with some um, dark purple and some kind of some pastel pinks. And remember, all of the dimensions and supplies will be listed below and that's below the video, right? Below the video, all you have to do is click show more and you'll have everything you need to make the card and buy the supplies. You need to get your base card and your base card is eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a fourth. And then you need to cut you a couple mats, one for the outside and one for the inside. And then you need to have another mat to layer on the front. So let's go ahead and See what we can do. The first thing that we need to do is go ahead and lay down this mat before we start stamping anything. And I went ahead and cut this the right size. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our wet glue and we're just going to get some glue on here. You know, and I think you're really going to like this stamp set. Yep. And you know what? Just send a little happiness to someone that maybe is having a difficult time right now. So this is our first mat. And see, I like that. I like the contrast between the two colors, don't you? Now this next one, we're going to go ahead and stamp. And I'm going to get a piece of paper so that I can stamp. And um, I'm going to get the leaf that comes with this. And I'm going to use shaded green. And what I'm going to do is... On our card, I think I'm going to do the message right here in the middle. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp my leaves up at the top. And I'm going to turn it because we're going to stamp our little flowers. And then we're also going to punch them out so that it's 3D. So let's go ahead and get that. I think I'm going to do it this way just to give us a little border at the top, right? So isn't that pretty? Those vines are so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up because we know I can get it all over my fingers, right? Now I'm gonna do Rich Razzleberry first. And I'm just gonna put it right here and hold it down. And then I'm gonna put one up here. And you know, this really, you will see, this turns out so much cuter than you might originally think. And what I like about it, stamp ink, paper, and there you go. Put your message on there, and you are ready to send it to a friend who needs just a little happiness, right? Sent their way. Okay, so I'm going to close these up, and we are going to punch. Get these closed up really well. Really, really like this punch. You just line it up right where it needs to be and punch. And off it flies, right? So we just line it up. Get it right where you need it and punch. So I think we have enough punched out. <clears throat> right now, we're gonna come up with our saying and the saying that we are going to use is from Positive Thoughts. Sending positive thoughts and feel-good wishes. Isn't that beautiful? And just put it down. See how that looks. Oh, that is quite pretty. Yes, that is perfect. So I'm going to put this right in the middle. Okay. And there you have it. Nice. So we're going to close that. And I'm going to now... Glue this on right here. Oh, and you know, I'm also going to be using some Wink of Stella because what do I always say? I always say, you can never have too much glitter. So I am going to use my Wink of Stella to glitter these up. 
and we're just gonna put it down. Oh, look at that, so pretty so far. But wait, we're not done, right? We are going to use our lovely lipstick and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stamp our lovely lipstick right there. And stamp our flower. So we're gonna get our mini dimensionals, right? And you can actually turn this so where it looks like you have more leaves. Watch this, this is so cute. So here we go. We're going to turn it so you can actually kind of see the flower underneath it. Look at that, oh. Now I'm gonna pick up that lovely lipstick that we had, and we're gonna put the mini on it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this one right here. And you know what? We're gonna put our Wink of Stella on there first to, to brighten it up and to actually deepen the color a little bit. And then we're gonna put some rhinestones in the middle. And we are just going to color, stay within the flower, and just kind of brighten it up just a little bit. See, you can see it, it kind of shines. So pretty. So I don't know if you can see that, you can't really see the shine. There you go, there's the shine. Okay, so we shine that up a little bit. And now we're going to use some rhinestones. And I'm using my take a pick tool. I love this take a pick tool. You know, it has that wax at the end of it. So it's very easy to pick up the rhinestones that you need. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with a light, a light rhinestone on this one. So here we have the outside. Sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. Now, you could always, <clears throat> if you wanted to, you could always add another little flower right there. I think that would be pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and just lay that flap though, instead of um, raising it up on a dimensional. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of tape runner and I'm just gonna put it right there. There we have it. Oh, I love that. Now we have to do the inside, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our glue. Just gonna put some glue down. And get that down. Now, look at this other stamp that they have. Can you see that? Isn't that lovely? We're gonna go ahead and use Rich Razzleberry. And we're just gonna put that on the side right there. Just to give it a little something when you open it up. So we're just gonna load up our ink again. Put it right here on the side. And that way when you open it up, you have a little surprise. And this is what we made today, but let me show you another thought. You know what, you could also, if you want some inspiration, look at this one. We embossed on this one. Now you would have to put a tag here because you cannot put a message here, but you could emboss it. And on this one, we use the bricks. So that's just another little bit of inspiration that you can use on your card. We also did this one. Oh my goodness, look at this one. We love this one. We did some shading with this one. So that's some more inspiration. Comfort and healing to you. Just something to brighten someone's day. We also did this one. I told you we went crazy, right? We just needed a little happy therapy today. And we did this one and we just put the vine going up and then one in the corner. And this one is so nice. It says, I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. And then we just put the greenery right there. So that's another thought. And now this one is completely different. We decided to do something like this, but isn't it beautiful? just makes a statement. And we showed how to take our tags and make them longer in the previous video. So you can always leave me a comment and I'll, I'll give you the link so you know how to do this to make it longer. But we just punched out our flowers and we used our embossing folder, the curls and swirls, and then we just added the inside. Well, hey, 
thank you for sharing your time with me and thank you for allowing me just to stop by and share some inspiration with you. If you liked it and you enjoyed your time with us, would you give us a thumbs up? We would really appreciate it. And share with your family and friends this video. That really helps us out. Well, hey, listen, we hope you go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bring some sunshine to someone you love. Be creative in your crafting. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.